master complicated Facebook Messenger bot flows like this in less than 20 minutes by watching this video. Welcome back, and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. So what is a Facebook bot flow? Flows are a conversational interface, or in other words, how your conversation would flow naturally if you were talking face to face with your prospect. Simply put, it's the conversation that you want to have with your potential buyers or leads. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to create human like conversations, the difference between buttons and quick replies, and also using uh, invalid replies, how to collect user data and repeat it back to them. And finally, how to connect your flows to your opt in widget, aka growth tool. So first, let's talk about how to create a more human like conversation with your messenger bot. So we're going to start a flow under flows, new flow, and I'm going to call this mobile device helper. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like we are a mobile provider and we're trying to sell a device to our customer with a monthly plan. First of all, you can add in these little personalized tags so I can say, Hey, first name and it will grab the name from their Facebook. So first off, I need to think about the conversation that I would be having with them when they come into a store or they call my business. Something that you would say to them face to face. So hey Amanda, I really want to help you get the best mobile device and plan that suits your needs. Do you already have a phone in mind? And so we have to think about the different outcomes or the different answers that someone might say. So what would somebody say in the situation? As you can see, there's only a certain amount of characters that you can put in. Okay, or no, I'm not sure. So there's pretty much only two answers to this because this is a closed ended question. Do you already have a phone in mind? Yes or no. And so when you're doing something like this, I highly recommend that you only go down one branch at a time so you don't get confused um, because this will help you to um, have a better or more realistic conversation with the person if you just work on one branch at a time. Let's say they already know. This is probably going to be the easiest branch to work on first. So yes, I already know. Okay, let's uh, actually I'm going to name this message first the welcome message just so I know which one it is. Yes, I already know. Okay, let's send another message. So it's really good practice to um, call the message what what it is because if you're you know, later down the road, you want to come and edit this and you'll know exactly what it is. All right. So, okay, great. Are you thinking of getting an Android or an iPhone? Because I mean, let's think about it. it's 2018. There's really only two different versions at this point. Yes, I know there's the other small ones, but for the sake of simplicity at the moment, let's just uh, keep it at this. Okay, perfect. So now I have my different responses, Android, iPhone or other. Okay. Um, and again, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to choose iPhone because um, there's not quite as many models <laughs> as there is on Android. So just for the sake of simplicity for this example. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach this answer to a custom field so that we know exactly what they want at the very end. So in additional actions, I'm going to go under set subscriber custom field and I'm going to select the field. I don't have the field that I need, so I'm going to call uh, it um, type of phone. And you'll see that I don't have that custom field yet created, so I can just create one right now. So you want the name of your custom field here, and then you can just make a description so you can understand what it is. So, And then you can choose the type as well. So for this one, we're just going to say text and create. Now I'm just going to close that. Now I have my type of phone and the value is what I want to be in that field. So for the value, I'm going to say iPhone because when I go and pull all the types of phones, I want to see that this person wants an iPhone. 
Perfect. And then I'm just going to go back really quick and go to the next step. All right. So now in this step, here's one more tip to make it, the conversation seem a little more human-like. I'm going to add a little delay before I send them a message. So as you can see here, I can put um, that it shows that I'm typing for a certain duration. So I'm going to say I'm typing for one second. So they're going to see the little bubble with the dots and it will look like I'm typing to them and then I'll send them a message. Cool, Meta. Apple does make a great product. Do you already know which model you want? And then I'm going to go and put iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and iPhone 10 because at the time of recording this, these are the most current iPhones. Um, and we could say, we could also say other. Um, so let's just go with iPhone 10 right now. So now what I'm going to do for this is I'm actually going to add a value to it. Okay, so I'm going to go again and set a custom subscriber field. And I'm actually going to create a new custom field called phone cost. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to be able to tell them at the very end of this interaction how much their device is going to cost. So let's pretend, let's say that the number is 13, uh, 1349. And then we're going to go again to the next step. All right, so now that we know exactly what kind of phone they want, we can go to the next part of the conversation, which is what type of plan do they want, right? So you again, you need to think about what kind of questions would you need to ask to understand what they need and how you can help them best. And you want to make sure that you incorporate all of that into your bot conversation. So here I'm actually just going to reiterate what they told me previously to make sure that I got it right. All right, so now that I know what kind of phone they want and how much it's going to cost them, now I can see if they'd be willing to get a plan that will take their phone price down and we can go from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the values that we added into the custom field and I'm going to use that to customize my message to them. Got it, Amanda. That device normally costs and then I put in the uh, phone cost that we set earlier. Do you want me to show you a monthly plan that can bring the price down? And then I have yes, show me a plan or no, buy the phone now. So no would actually be the faster branch to complete right now because you're likely just going to take them straight to the checkout. Now, um, well, you could also choose them like a plan maybe. Uh, anyway, so let me here go ahead and quickly um, create a little bit more of this. So let's say yes, show me a plan. Okay. So again, I'm going to put my delay in here. All right, so I put my delay and now I'm saying, okay, uh, customize it with their name. Amanda, do you know how much internet data you use in a month? For the sake of simplicity of this example, let's just say they know, yes, I use under two gigabytes. Okay, no problem. All right, so now that we know they use under two gigabytes of data, we can present them the options that our company has with that level of usage. So I said, great, we have two plan options for you at that level of usage. One is $50 a month for two gigabytes of data plus brings your phone costs down to $799. Two is a $40 per month for one gig of data plus brings your phone down to $899. All of our plans include unlimited calling minutes, uh, text messaging, and call display. And then I'll say choose which option will suit you best. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to point the little arrow downwards so that I can show them where to go. All right, so now I've got my two different options, 50 per month or 40 per month. So let's say that they choose 50 per month. And one more thing is that I'm going to change the value of my phone cost now because as you see I told them now your phone comes down to $7.99 so I need to now go under my actions and set my subscriber field and choose my phone cost I'm going to set it now to $7.99 and then I'm just going to click this guy and go back over are you ready to check out all right so I have my two options yes check out now and no start again so um, let's actually set them both up so I can show you how to loop back. So first let's check out now. 
All right, so Amanda, you've chosen type of phone, iPhone, for the cost $7.99, right? It will automatically populate. Now, I could take this one step further and put things like the price of the plan in there and um, maybe the manufacturer. So because I asked, do you want Apple, do you want Android, I could have saved that as well. So I could say here, I could say Apple, type of phone, iPhone, and then model as well, 10 for this cost, right? Now, but this is just for example six, so we're just gonna keep it simple. So let's go back to that last step where we say, no, I wanna start again. So this is where I wanna show you this view that we're working in right now is called the basic builder. Now, they have an option called go to flow builder. And when you click on that, it shows you the entire flow of your funnel. Now this is a great overview of the steps that are being taken in your customer's journey. So for this to no start again, we will probably want them to come back somewhere to, I would, I would think probably to the iPhone section. Okay. Um, you can take them back to wherever you want, obviously. Maybe you can take them back right here. So you could just take this and drag it to the step that you want and they'll go back there. Or what you can do here is you can, in your basic builder, select existing step. And this is part of the reason why you wanna name each of them. Let's say we're gonna take them back to, they already know which one they want. Done. And now when I click on that guy, it takes me back to, okay, great, are you thinking of getting an Android or iPhone? So they can start the process all over again. So let me know in the comments below, what type of industry do you want to create a Facebook bot flow for? Now that quickly leads me into one of our second topics, which is what's the difference between a quick reply and a button, okay? So a button, you can connect it to a website address, call, connect to another flow, all this kind of stuff. You can also connect to a message. But same with a, a quick reply. I can connect it to another message as well or an existing step or another flow. So what's the main difference here? The quick reply, when they select one of them, the other options will disappear. However, if you use a button, the button's going to stay on the page. So if you want to really direct the customer journey, you want to use quick replies. And so now let's talk a little bit about capturing custom data. You do need a ManyChat Pro account to use this kind of feature, but it's very useful when you're trying to capture custom data. And so just like a message, you can ask them a question or give them information. So I'm like, cool, there's tons of different devices out there. Do you mind typing the one below that you want? And so this could be maybe a way that I'm gonna evolve my funnel or even just get some information to grow my business. We're just gonna ask for a regular text message, but you can see here that there are um, different options that you can choose and um, ManyChat will validate it for you. So if the user does not respond as expected, that would be also an invalid response, then that's um, something that we can send back to them. So let's just say text for now, and then we'll save their response in a custom field. So uh, we'll just put it as type of phone. And so what it's gonna do, it's gonna wait for the user to reply, and once it replies, then we can go to the next action. So I can just say continue to another step and we'll just send them a, another message. All right, so now I'm gonna send them a message. Hey, Amanda, I'm sure that uh, whatever type of phone that you typed in is a great make, but unfortunately we do not carry it at this time. Do you wanna go on a waiting list for it or do you wanna start again? And so now I can take them again back to the first, me first message and they can start the loop again or um, I add a tag to them. Um, and this tag could be something like phone waiting list or whatever type of model they typed in, right? And then when I do actually have that model, I can go under my broadcasts and find everyone with that tag and broadcast the message only to those people who are waiting for this. 
All right, so now obviously you're gonna have to connect all of your steps before it will allow you to publish your flow. And you have to have your flow published if you want someone to see it live. So what I did is I just went and I just connected them all to this exact same steps. Like I didn't create the whole thing, but we'll just for the sake of example, keep it short. So now that I'm published, I need to figure out which growth tool or widget I'm going to use to promote this. So you can just broadcast this directly to your subscribers. Um, then you don't need a growth tool at all. For the sake of our example, we will probably use customer chat because they're most likely going to be on our website looking for help for finding their product. But if you are blasting this out to your email list, you might use a messenger ref URL because this way you can connect the URL to any button or link in your email. And then of course there's the classic landing page where you could use a modal pop-up, um, a button, or even just like a landing page takeover. Doesn't really matter which one you choose. Let's do the customer chat for our sake of example. Um, and you'll see here the opt-in message. So obviously I don't want them to see thanks for subscribing when they're trying to look for help on getting a mobile device. So I'm actually going to replace that with welcome and it looks like you need help finding a mobile device or plan. Is that right? And then I'll say, um, yes, help me out or no, leave me alone. <laughs> well, hopefully I don't click no, leave me alone, but we'll say yes, help me out. And then that's when we'll start the flow. So start the flow and then connect to the one that we just made, mobile device helper. Select this. And that's it. So as soon as they say, yes, help me out, they're gonna go directly to here and say, hey, first name, I really wanna help you get the best mobile device in the planet suits your needs. Do you already have a phone in mind? I would probably actually adjust that now that I think of the bridge message because I'm saying, hey, first name, in both of them and it's not as natural as you would uh, talk in real life. Um, so with that being said, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, don't forget to hit activate on your growth tools and publish your flows. So if this seems like a lot to take in, feel free to connect with my Facebook group of online entrepreneurs to network and learn more about this marketing technique. I'll put a link in the description below. And now that you know how to create a Facebook bot flow, give me a thumbs up if you like this information and share it with others. Um, I put out new videos every single week, so don't forget to hit subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.